is about to kiss your hand. Try to combine a pose imperious with a demeanor nobly bland. If anything, do unbending, do aggressively stiff and grand. Now to the other extreme you're tending, don't be so deucedly condescending. Now a gavotte performs sedately, offer your hand with Conscious pride, take an attitude not too stately, still sufficiently dignified. Once lit twice, once lit twice, now impressively there you I've yet to congratulate your majesty upon the birth of your son. Yes, I forgot. You were dismissed before he was born. On your instructions? Flatter me that I have such power. Influence. I have never understood, Mr. Rechkovsky, your motives for the investigation of my friend, Father Philippe. At the time, I was too angry to ask, for I considered your investigation to be a direct affront to my person. At the time, Your Majesty, I was trying to protect Your Majesty. I was overzealous in my duty and was quite rightly reprimanded. Father Philippe seemed to me to be a charlatan and an imposter. And the reports that have subsequently come in seem to have confirmed my original opinion. He is no longer in your favor, I believe. You do not understand. When a man bears the great burden of the spirit, he may sometimes fall into the most awful depravity in an effort to escape the powers given him by God. Father Philippe did have many failings, but he also had great powers. I do not know which of these you feared the most. I was alarmed, ma'am, by the combination. At least you speak your mind, Mr. Rechkovsky. The death of the Grand Duke Sergei was a bureaucratic blunder. News of the assassination attempt was known to the St. Petersburg Okrana, but they failed to convince the Moscow office to take it seriously. As for the events of Bloody Sunday, this also was a, an administrative error. Had I not been discharged from my post, both these tragedies could have been avoided. You seem to have turned the tables on me, Mr. Rechkovsky. I anticipated that you would come here a suppliant to say that you had learnt your lesson. I am, ma'am. And I have. You do not give me that impression. I also take it that you have modified your attitude towards me. Or why else would you have countenanced my having tea with you this afternoon? So what is at issue is not the appointment, but the terms. I trust my husband. If he says you are necessary for the safety of the state, I believe him. But I do not want you to interfere in my affairs or what occurred before will occur again. Point is taken. You are to be left alone with your holy people. There are boundaries beyond the can of governments. That I now understand, ma'am. There is a spiritual world, or do you not believe in it? You do not. I do, Your Majesty. But what I am dealing with and what you are dealing what with... What I am dealing with is life. I wanted a son. What could you, with all your manipulations, do to provide me with one? You have provided the Tsar with an heir. The methods were unorthodox. But now that you have given him one, I shall do my best to protect him. Although you may, from time to time, find my way unorthodox too. <laughs> <laughs> 